after seven races and one podium, I'm under a little bit of pressure. We need to change that in this round in Spain. Hello everybody, welcome back to F1 Manager. My name is Aaron and I am managing Mercedes. And like I said in the intro, we're a little bit under pressure because after the last round at Monaco where we finished 6th and 8th, I think, if I remember correctly, it's been a couple of days since I recorded, I received this email that says, the board has low confidence in my leadership as team principal. And if you go to board down here at the bottom and then board confidence, you can actually look at the, the sort of the pattern. So finances, we're golden. We've got $60 million dues in the bank. And before I started recording, I was looking at some facility upgrades as to how we might spend that. Objectives, uh, well, they'll review that at the end of the season. But race performance, disappointed. So Sakir, disappointed. Jeddah, disappointed. Melbourne, satisfied. We've got a podium. Baku, disappointed. Off the podium. Miami, even though things were terrible, they were satisfied with the performance. Imola, satisfied because we performed quite strongly. And then Monte Carlo was a disappointment, but I think that was mostly my fault because I didn't read the strategy correctly. Uh, also in our inbox was a resolution to the um, CFD simulator concerns. So that part of, the, that part of the, the factory is shut down at the moment. Uh, structural analysis completed various signs of structural damage so they're making some repairs and uh, as a result it is shut down now i was looking at factory upgrades so we could upgrade to five manufactured parts per sort of well in terms of capacity development speed would go up by six percent as well but if we go design center we would have more engineers to so we we'd lose expertise but we could actually get things through quicker because we'd have more engineers working on them and we get a whole load of bonuses on the airflow drag reduction stuff like that wind tunnel uh, we can improve some of our numbers there on the airflow and the downforce and, and the drag but our suspension simulator is actually at two well level two sort of spec um, as is our wind tunnel so i'm thinking we go ahead and upgrade them to level three first and uh, then we can so we spend 12 million dollars on the wind tunnel and then 10 million dollars on the suspension simulator and then we can start making everything for level four okay so let's follow lewis hamilton who's following sergio perez who is on a flying lap so that's good gasly actually is on an in lap ahead of russell who has not set a personal best first sector nor has hamilton this is concerning check the flag out gasly up in fourth place is a big problem for us russell not improving in the middle sector either hamilton not improving either what can we achieve seventh place with russell and hamilton is eighth it's not a good qualifying session for us stroll is up in third for aston martin alonso's ninth but we really did not make the most of uh, our car in that session that's a real disappointment um to be well we're half a second off the red bull so i suppose maybe that's progress but who knows Okay, race time. Let's set up a strategy. Uh, I'm thinking we go on some hard tyres to start. So I'm going to build a strategy here. Hard tyres to start. And then we, we're we going to stick on some softs. So let's see. We need to manage the tyres to about lap 30 and then we're going to stick on another set of softs around lap 48 again we'll probably need to manage tyres unless we go mediums so we can bring that forward a bit and that push that back a bit hard medium soft because then the soft will will last a bit better towards the end of the race so we're going to try strategy we're going to go plan d we truly are bringing out the ferrari 
level of strategies here. Um, should we just go a plain soft medium with, with Hamilton? Well, you struggle you struggle to get it to the pit window with the soft, so I think you need to go hard to start and then kind of see how the race pans out from there. Okay, all Red Bull, front row, Max Verstappen on pole position. There's an Alpine way out of position ahead of us. Lights out and the Spanish Grand Prix is go. Quite well, strong in third, but no place there. Having a look at the outside of the Red Bull. I think Russell's made a position. He's looking at Gasly. He's gone past the Alpine. Hamilton has lost the position to Alonso, which is wonderful news. Gasly has actually retaken the position on Russell. They're still side by side by the look of it. Yeah, the Alpine has got back past. Let's have a look at the strategy. Stroll on softs. A lot of people on mediums. We're the only team on hards. So we are doing something completely different. Are we on the wrong strategy again? Where's Hamilton? He is over a second behind Alonso already. With him to up his pace early stages as well but because we're on hard it's, it's difficult it's going to be difficult to um, hang with these guys we're going to lose the position now to Alonso with, with Russell we need to make sure we have DRS Hamilton just sort of in no man's land there not not close enough for DRS but he's only got a Haas behind him we're going to need to push on the on the fuel because we do, we don't have the pay, the inherent mechanical pace from the tire, not at least at this stage. So we we're going to lose some ground. We've lost the position now to Alonso, which is not ideal. And you know how I said we need to improve results at the start of the episode. This is not ideal. We're actually going to be under pressure from an Alpine which will be Esteban Ocon behind Lewis Hamilton. There he is on Hamilton's tail. Yeah. I mean, everyone's using their, their mediums and softs at the moment, so hopefully this will come back to us later in the race. So our lap times are being severely hampered by our very own driver. George Russell is holding up Lewis Hamilton, so we're going to ask him to... Don't fight teammate. But he's actually going to lose a position. Is he going to lose it to Ocon? Looks like he is, yeah. But we, we didn't have a choice. He was holding everybody up. He, he was doing 19 nines. Let's see what Hamilton can do. Uh, we're going to go aggressive on the tyres. We're going to need to extract some pace. Russell is coming back through, I think. For that position, Hamilton a 19-4 that time around. This will be his first lap with clear air. Russell, don't fight your teammate, just let him go. Let's see what it is this time around. So Perez in the lead is doing 18-8s. Hamilton a 19-6, uh, uh, Russell a 19-6, we're just slow. We are just slow on this hard tyre. And seemingly no matter what we do, we're just slow. And we're, we're under pressure from Ocon. We are three seconds behind Gasly. We're not catching him. We're actually slower than Gasly. We're behind both Aston Martins. We're going to lose P3 in the constructors at this rate. Hopefully, this strategy comes back to us, though. We've got Soft tyres to run towards the ends. Um, mediums on, on Russell. Okay, so we've started to pick up the pace a little bit, but it is coming at the cost of tyre wear. So Hamilton now half a second quicker than Gasly, who's doing 19.7s. Uh, we're just matching Alonso. Stroll actually very quick with 18.8s. Still got Ocon behind us. There's Stroll, who is gamely hanging on to the Ferraris. 
but he has got soft tyres. That explains at that pace. So if that's the sort of pace that we can expect, and obviously we've got better drivers than Lance Stroll, then um, hopefully this race will come back to us. But you know, we've lost an awful lot of time. We're already five five seconds behind uh, Alonso. Okay, we really need to get past Gasly because we have now fallen seven seconds behind Alonso. This Alpine need to just go away. They keep changing their their team principles and they they keep coming up with plans. But the only plan they've got, well, we're now going to ruin their plan because we are going so past with Lewis Hamilton. And we need to press on and just drop this annoyance that is the Alpine. And, and then Gasly pits as well. It's not going to be a lot now, mate. Wonderful Stop stuff. Uh, we need to try and close down that 7.7 gap to Alonso. What was the times last time around? 19.1 and 18. It was 19.7 there for Hamilton. Is that traffic? No. Just slow. Just slow. That's the, uh, that's the theme of this race. It's Spain without the S for Mercedes. Oh, there's a puncture. There's a puncture for Carlos Sainz. The Ferrari has... Um, <laughs> yeah, let's celebrate because we've um, we've yet to pit. At least with with Lewis and Ferrari are in the mud. At least Carlos Sainz is. Stroll is now closing the gap on fresh mediums, but Hamilton is um, well. He's coming in this lap. We're going to pit him for softs. We've actually got a, a brand new set of softs there ready to use. So we will do exactly that. And now, 36 laps to go, two 18 lap stints on softs. Maybe we can turn this race back around for us. Russell is six, nearly seven seconds. That's a that's an Aston Martin with a, a puncture. That's Alonso. And he's almost been smashed into by Leclerc. What's going on with the AI? They're running. They're running out of tyres. Hamilton's in. Everyone who didn't pit has now suffered a puncture. So Alonso will have lost track position to us. 2.5 seconds stop for Hamilton. Just be careful. Traffic pit exit. And uh, the Alpines are going to go back in front on their soft tyres. But Hamilton is now going to be in position to chase them down. We're side by side with Russell. And... Uh, Alonso, to compound his woes, has had a pit stop issue. Here we go. They get the tyres off and then they... Uh, well, clearly they were just checking down. Right? So a slow stop for Aston Martin. Their best hope is Stroll in third. But he's going to have to do an awful lot of management on those tyres to get them to the end. We need to be wary of our tyres as well. We're just getting them up to temperature now. And hopefully we can close down those Alpines, get past them, and maybe we can take Stroll and we can have um, fourth and fifth potentially in this race. And if there's any more problems with punctures for leaders or safety cars, then we need to be ready to pounce. And with soft tyres going on both cars at the end, we could be in a really good position here. Uh, Ocon is going to be in serious trouble with his soft tyres momentarily. There's Sainz and Hamilton side by side. So we, well, we know the Ferrari's quick, but that's unfortunate for us. Did we get DRS? We did. Hopefully the Ferrari can just pull us along. Um, but the aim is now to make sure we beat Lance Stroll and, and make sure we finish with both cars ahead of Aston Martin. There's Alonso. Uh, he's about a corner and a half behind Russell. He could probably be a bit more aggressive on his tyres, to be honest. Hamilton now with better tyre wear than, than Sainz, who is clearly just going for it to make up ground. Ocon boxes, and what's he going to go on to? He's gone on to a set of hards. So Alpine will be 
defenceless come the end of this race. We don't want to be fighting Alpines, but that's the way it is. Gasly into the pit lane as well now. How's Stroll doing on his tyres? He's going to need to box soon too. Hamilton with an 18-3 last time around. Sainz is definitely using more of his tyre than we are. He'll probably be a bit more aggressive now with Hamilton. He's got five laps to go until he needs to pit. So we can up his pace. Both Alpines are now on hard tyres. So we'll probably come out behind them. But we'll come out and we'll be much quicker. Okay, Hamilton has reached the, the danger zone of 30%. But... Update your tyre switch. It is now time for a brand new set of soft okay, tyres for him. And then George Russell will come into the pit lane the following lap. Uh, so we'll put him on a set of fresh soft tyres as well. Be interesting to see what Sainz and Stroll do. His Stroll, is he going to come in? Verstappen's just come into the pit lane. Stroll's actually being overtaken by lapped cars. Who is that? That might be... That's Albon, who is 12. And Stroll boxes. So we're not going to get an undercut on the Aston Martin. What does Sainz do? He stays out. So we will get an undercut with Hamilton. Into the pit lane. Good stop, please, boys. 2.6 is fine. Stroll is now exiting the pit lane on soft tyres. Interesting. So he's gone soft, medium, soft. And now we have a VSC, which is going to absolutely ruin Hamilton's race. Safety car deployed. We've got a crash, and it's Gasly. It's the two Alpines. They've collided into turn one, into turn two. Oh dear, and Gasly sent spearing into the wall. Tires and brakes would be useful. Yeah, we just need to make sure that uh, we don't fall off a cliff on that tyre. Time penalty for Gasly. Where does Hamilton filter back out? Actually, uh, he is P P7. So Ocon in the pit lane as well. But everyone now on fresh soft tyres. But we'll be right on their tails. So that is... Yeah, you win some, you lose some. But we can take Russell off of Don't Fight Teammate. Now, that's just the way things pan out, unfortunately. But we'll be right on Sainz and Stroll. And we, we can probably push our tyres to the end. So let's get this safety car period over and done with. So no change in that opening lap behind the safety car or from the, from after the safety car I should say but lots of pace from Verstappen who can't get past his teammate just yet DRS now enabled so that might help us what oh that's 16 times speed and the battery now empty Alonso right on our tails and we are not close enough the battery at the to the Ferrari uh, Russell is now under pressure as a result and he's going to lose a couple of places here. He might... Oh, Alonso's hit Hamilton! I don't believe it! Sorry, Fernando can... Alonso has taken out Lewis Hamilton. And there's not even a safety car. Hamilton is on fire. DRS disabled. VSC, just a VSC. VSC. Thank you very much, Fernando. Keep it on, you don't I don't believe this. Alon oh, yes, Alonso, a time penalty. I, oh. But I am still absolutely in disbelief about what has happened. Hamilton has been taken out by Fernando Alonso. Just, yeah, disaster. So Sainz is trying to go past Stroll. We need Russell to get ahead of Stroll. Uh, Sainz is now ahead of Stroll, momentarily. Stroll has the inside line, the magic inside line. 
We need to make sure we're getting DRS. Probably will do now. There it goes. We need to make sure. Hopefully, uh, sci if science could crash into Stroll, and that would do us a favour. Four laps to go. Stroll has fallen behind science, but Russell is now nearly three seconds adrift. We've got another yellow flag. Albon has locked up at turn one. Just see if we can get some DRS on the final lap. Although Stroll is going to have DRS on the Ferrari, and that's going to keep him safe. So that will be the Spanish Grand Prix. Ah, uh, not not the uh, the race we were hoping for. Far from it. George Russell finishes sixth. Hamilton finishes in the hedge, courtesy of the Aston Martin of Fernando Alonso. Let's head back to Brackley and, and see what the damage is to the car. Okay, well, look at that. Destroyed, destroyed, destroyed. The side pods passed. Failed, destroyed. Thank you so much, Fernando Alonso, for that. Absolutely brilliant. We'll be sending him a whacking great bill for all these car parts that he has uh, destroyed on our car through sheer incompetence in the braking zone. Well, if you enjoyed that, leave a nice big thumbs up on the video for me. Subscribe for more F1 Manager content, and I'll see you again in the next round in Canada. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.